The Storyteller presents Pinocchio. Once upon a time, there was a toy maker named Geppetto, who more than anything else, wanted to have a child of his very own. He started to make a wooden puppet to keep him company. Geppetto took a piece of very good wood and carefully started to carve the face. He made the face to look like the boy he wished for. Then he took a chisel and a hammer and began to carve the rest of the puppet. As soon as the hammer hit the chisel, he heard a little voice say, Ouch! That hurts! Geppetto thought somebody was joking and started looking in the closets and under the workbenches. Anyone here? Come on out and let me see you. No one answered. He continued his work and took some sandpaper to smooth the wood. This time he heard someone giggle. <laughs> that tickles! Stop it, please! <laughs> Who are you? There was no answer. The silence frightened him. He sat quietly for several minutes and listened, but no one spoke. He went back to work and finished the puppet. When he turned around to pick up something, the puppet suddenly moved and upset a can of paint onto the floor. What a mess! Who could have done that? The puppet smiled at him and said, Hello, Father. I did it. The toy maker was very happy that his wish had come true. He now had his little boy and named him Pinocchio. Pinocchio always wanted to be a real little boy and tried very hard to become one. His father sent him to school, but Pinocchio was very naughty. He often lied and was warned that if he told another lie, his nose would grow. Pinocchio laughed. Oh, I don't believe that. How could that ever happen? But the next time he told a lie, his nose suddenly started to grow. It grew longer and longer with each lie. The other boys made fun of Pinocchio, and he began to cry. <laughs> then he heard a lovely voice saying, Don't cry, Pinocchio. If you promise me never to tell a lie again, I will make your nose small again. Who are you? Pinocchio asked. I am your fairy princess, said the voice, and suddenly she appeared. She was very beautiful. I promise to be good. I won't lie again. Please make me into a real boy. You can only be a real boy if you do something very brave. Then and only then will you be a real boy. Pinocchio did not keep his promise to be good. He kept staying out of school. Then one day he ran away with the circus. Meanwhile, he was joined by a cricket, sent by the fairy princess to watch him. Cricket told him, Pinocchio, I am your conscience. I must warn you each time you do something wrong. Pinocchio thought it would be fun being in the circus, but the bad circus man kept picking up little boys wherever they went, promising them a good time. He wanted Pinocchio to help him find some of those boys, but Cricket said, No, Pinocchio, don't do it. He is a bad man. But Pinocchio did not listen and stayed with the circus man and helped him find more boys. Soon they were far away from town, and they came to a mine where many little donkeys were working. Watch out, Pinocchio, said Cricket. Don't trust that circus man. Pinocchio saw the little boys that he had brought to the circus man turn into donkeys. They were put to work in the mine. Pinocchio's ears began to feel very funny. They were turning into donkey's ears. Cricket called. Run, Pinocchio, run, and you will break the spell. He ran and ran and suddenly became himself again. Cricket begged him to go home, and he finally agreed. 
When he came home, he called, Father, Father, where are you? But there was no reply. The neighbors told him that his father, Geppetto, had gone looking for him and was swallowed by a big whale. My poor father! I love him and must find him at once! It's all my fault! He and Cricket went down to the ocean to find the whale. They found a small boat and started rowing. Suddenly, they came upon the whale. Pinocchio, look out! He's going to swallow us! But it was too late. The next thing they knew, they were inside the whale. And there, at a funny little table, sat his father. Oh, father, father, I've come to save you. How can you save me, my boy? We are all trapped now. Pinocchio started thinking. All he wanted to do was to save his father. Then it came to him. Father, break up the table. We will set it on fire. Soon there was a big fire in the whale's stomach. The fire was so hot that the whale did not feel well at all. He began to heave and heave, and with a big roar, he spat everything out. Pinocchio, Cricket, and Father landed in the water. Geppetto and Cricket began to swim towards the shore. But Pinocchio had hit his head on a board and was knocked out. Geppetto thought that Pinocchio had drowned and cried. My son was such a brave boy. He tried to save me, but he drowned in the attempt. He forgot that Pinocchio was a wooden puppet and therefore could float on top of the water. Several days later, Pinocchio was washed ashore and found by some townspeople. It's Pinocchio! He is unconscious, but he is still breathing. Let's take him home. His father sat by his bedside all night and prayed for him to get well. When the first light of morning came into the room, he looked at Pinocchio and saw that he had become a real boy. Pinocchio's courage had made the fairy princess's promise come true. So Pinocchio and his father Geppetto lived happily ever after.